Okay, hello everyone. Um, had a request on the Devlin forums. A user wanted to be able to put their own avatar on the Slim login screen. And I don't know any way to do this other than to do it manually. I don't know of any program or application that will do that for the Slim login screen. But it's actually very easy. It just takes a little bit of work to get it done. So what we're going to do today, we're going to look at that. We're going to go over a few tips for the Slim login screen. And what we're going to do is, like Mio, make it your own. You can make the Slim login screen your own. Okay? Now first I want to go over just a few tips. Um, when you log in, or when you get to the Slim login screen, you can take a screenshot of the Slim login screen by pressing your F11 button or your F11 key. Hey, button, key, they're all the same to me. So press F11, you can take a screenshot, and I'll show you where that screenshot will be saved. It's not saved in your home folder. You have to open up your file manager as root. I've already done this once, so it's not requiring me to enter my password again. Go to file system root, go to the root folder and there's the screenshot. Now this is what you see when you uh, when you have just a basic Mio Modern login screen. Can't think of the words I want to say. This is the basic when you install Mio Modern this is the login screen you're greeted with. Now when you log in, or when you get to this screen, I'm sorry, when you get to this screen, you have a few options. If you have more than one window manager, or you've added another desktop, you know, Mio Modern is open box, but let's say you've added XFCE4, or you've added Fluxbox, whatever. If you press the F1 key, and it's not going to show it here, but if you press the F1 key, you can choose which desktop session you want to log into. And also, here where it says username, let's say you've, you've started your system up and all of a sudden you want to just shut it down. If you type in the word HALT, H-A-L-T, hit enter, You'll type HALT in where the username is. Hit enter and then enter your password and the system will shut down. Also you can reboot. If you type in the word reboot here where the username is, hit enter and then enter your password and hit enter, it'll reboot the system. So that's just a few little tips. You can take a screenshot of your login screen if you want, and you can also shut down or reboot from the login screen. Okay, now this user, he wanted to be able to put his own avatar. He wasn't, I don't know if he didn't like this avatar or, or whatever it is, this, this part of the login screen right here. He wanted to be able to put his own avatar there. So today we're going to see how to do that. We're going to get rid of this and put a different avatar in. Okay, so what we need to do, now this first part you don't have to be root. We will be root when we replace the image. So let's open up our file manager. We'll go to file system root user, share, and go down to the slim folder. There it is, slim, themes, and you want to open this default folder right here. 
user share slim themes default okay you can't see it that's that's the item you want to edit right here the panel ping now you will need something like GIMP I use GIMP to uh, make these images and hey, you can also replace this background if you want a different background on your login screen just replace it and name the picture background JPG or background PNG so it needs to be either JPG or ping but we're we're working on this today so let's right click on that and we're going to open it with GIMP we're going to open it with GIMP going to open it with GIMP all right there's the image now <clears throat> unless you really want to get crazy you'd have to mess around with several things I wouldn't mess with this bar right here that's where your name and password is typed in but we're gonna replace this okay alright all you have to do now if your image is big enough to cover that you can just cover it over but what we're gonna do today I'm gonna just get rid of it so I'm gonna click on my square here right up here at the top I'm gonna draw my square and I'll get enough room I don't want to go down to the bar all right and we are going to cut it and it's gone okay now earlier I'd already downloaded an image I would replace this with and that image is Popeye so I'm just going to take this image use whatever image you want to use I'm going to take this image and I'm going to drag it over here oh dear it's too big well that's easily taken care of we now you see it's made an extra layer so we are going to where is it scale layer that image is too big it's covering over the bar where I would type my name so we're gonna scale that layer now what I want to do I'm gonna change this from pixels to percent I'm just gonna try 50 percent right now type in 50 and hit enter scale uh, that's not too bad I wouldn't mind it being a little bigger so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to do let's see I'm going to do I'm going to try 65 65 enter scale okay now you see it's still covering over the bar still covering that bar right there so all we need to do is move it so what we're gonna do this will this item right here if you see my cursor moving over on the left that will move that layer anywhere I want to put it but I don't I'm not really interested in that at this point this will center this item right here alignment tool will center the image so I'm going to click on that then I'm going to come over here and click on that image now do you see it it added those little squares on the corners that lets me know that that's active so I come down here 
on the bottom left. Make sure it's centered. This item right here will center it on the screen. It is centered. So now I'm going to move it. I come back up here to the move tool. I'll click on it. Now I have to move, I have to click on my image again to get those squares. No, nope, don't need the squares. I'm sorry. Now if you notice, it leaves an outline. So I can basically move this. That looks pretty good. That's I'm going to put it about right there. Okay. And I'm going to just just to double check, I'm going to make sure it's centered again. Click on it. Got my squares. Click that button down there on the bottom. And it did move over a little bit. All right. Now here you could merge the layers, but I'm not going to do that. It, it, it's not going to matter. It's going to still give me this same, uh, same result. So then after we've got our image where we want it, we're happy with it, we're going to export. Or we, we can't override it we can't overwrite that. We're going to export it and we need to put it somewhere where we can find it easily. I'm going to put it in documents. Well, I'll put it in pictures. I want to keep that name, panel ping, and just hit export. Leave all this like it is and hit export again. All right, that has been taken care of. Let's, uh, you can save it if you want to. I'm not going to save it because this is just a demonstration. Discard changes. Okay, so we put that in pictures. There it is. Now what we need to do now, open up our file manager. We uh, open up our file manager as root. Let's go to that pictures folder. We will copy that. Copy. Then go back to user share slim themes default all right there's that panel ping now just to be safe might want to keep that so I'm going to rename that to panel 2 and now I'm going to paste in the new one. There it is. And now all I need to do is log out and log back in and I'll have my new uh, login screen. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stop the recording now. I will take another screenshot so that you can see that it did work. And that's basically all there is to it. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we're back. Now let me just show you a picture. I took another screenshot of the login screen. So let's open up the file manager as root. And this time I do have to enter my password. And we'll go to that root folder, file system root, root. And there if you notice it overwrote that previous picture. And there it is. That looks really bad, doesn't it? 
<laughs> oh well. No big deal, because I'm going to go back to the other one. But I just wanted to use this as an example of what you would need to do in order to change that avatar. So find whatever picture you want to use, shrink it down, or whatever you need to do to get it on there. And I'll remember, you only had so much room to work with. You, the, the image only went up to about right here. And the reason for that is because like when you uh, reboot from the login screen or whatever, it throws a message up here in this area. So you don't want to cover that message up. So there you go. That's how you change your avatar on the login screen. And remember, you can also change that background. So thanks for watching. Have fun and make it your own.